I'm constantly riding around this town trying to find a spot where I can speak to you guys in safety. But there's either roommates or tourists or something, and this spot right here is no different. There's nobody around as soon as I bust out this phone, this motherfucker walks out. Out here at Muskrat Island, you might have seen a couple broadcasts from here before. But um, when you're searching for truth, there's two rules that I want you to keep in mind. One is, is that there's no such thing as coincidence. And the other one is, is that there's exceptions to every rule. And in my previous videos regarding the bears and, and the, uh, you, you know, in the scriptures and um, the apocalypse and all that, uh, you know, my main thing was, was to kind of take your, your crutch of the Bible away from you. Do you know what I'm saying? Just for a second. It, because I want you to realize that that's what it is. It's a crutch. For 400 years of documented Christianity, there was no Bible until some pope named Damascus made this shit up and threw it into the mix and fucked everybody's game up. When you're searching for truth, what you're going to find is you're constantly going to find these scholastic cock blockers. And that's like little, like, just little pieces of shit here and there throughout history that just lied either to get famous or to throw you motherfuckers for a loop. And when I say you motherfuckers, I mean me too. This is the month of December, right? What is that? The 12th month? Is it the 12th month? Yeah, it's the 12th month. But what does December mean in Latin? It means the 10th month. So, this motherfucker Julius Caesar and Augustus Caesar, they add two months to the fucking to the calendar and throw everybody the fuck off. Do you know what I'm saying? See, back in the day before the Caesars and the Constantines and the Sun Worshippers and the Akhenans came out, this was a nocturnal planet. Do you know why it was a nocturnal planet? Because that's the way you evolved. Um, back in the day, instead of asking Darwin what happened, people used to go back in these trances into the past and watch the evolution of the Earth and watch the Sun and the Moon and the planets all separate from each other and form the solar system that we live in today. And one of the things that's, that's going on to help you know that is the fact that you have 28 nerve endings in your fucking back and that your pineal gland is only activated by moonlight. How many moves, phases of the moon are there? There's fucking 28. Why is there 28 spinal cord fucking nerve endings? Because that's how your body fucking evolved. Because we're not aliens. Nobody here is an alien. See, even the, the research on the alien war is another motherfucker trying to scholastically cock block you. Because if you weren't from this planet, you wouldn't have 28 fucking nerve endings. So now that we can throw all that bullshit out, what do I think the significance of having your Osiris birthday on motherfucking Christ's birthday is, I think it's like this. You know, the story of Osiris is that he gets chopped up into seven pieces and committed to the sea by his brother Set, which is the word we derive Satan from. Well, check it out. About 2,000 years ago, there was a Christ event. And what really happened to it was chopped up into seven churches and committed to the sea. And now here we are trying to scrapbook it back together while all the while the people that have been monopolizing it have told us the things like clairvoyance, um, magic, all those things that would be helpful to the average Jew are not real. Why would they tell you that? Because they don't want you to think you have any control over anything. <clears throat> but here's the other end of it, is Osiris gets reassembled. What do I mean? I mean the truth gets reassembled. I mean today is a day of awakening because the people that are alive today are in a position where we can reassemble the real faith of this planet and throw out all this bullshit. You know, um, everybody descended, everybody on this planet descended from the Asiatic black man. And that's the bottom fucking line. You know what I mean? And how you evolved to be the shade or whatever, whatever variety you are it is neither here nor there. And, um, and as soon as you realize that you are not your body will be the second that you realize how insignificant all of that racist bullshit is. And if you never know that, then, then I can't help you. But I'm going to remind you with these last two rules for your search before I continue this rant over the next year. There's no such thing as coincidence. And there's exceptions, exceptions to every rule.